Afternoon guys, just a quick video about uh, lubricating, cleaning a centre bearing. So, firstly, let's just pop off the thrust plate. Two screws, it's very dirty, we'll clean that in a moment. Let's pop off the circlip. And remove the bearing, so let's give everything a clean. You can take this opportunity to polish the brass if you so desire, but it's not actually essential. Let's clean the thrust plate, but we'll not actually be reusing that. I'll show you why in a moment. Clean the circle up. Alright, let's give the housing a scrub. Right, top and board. Let's wipe it. Just clean down the centre. See, quite grimy. It's all nice and clean, so what I'll do is just dab a little bit of black graphite grease. Very thin layer, we don't need to go mad with that. Then my technique for lubricating, each to their own, everybody will have their own ways. I like to put a bit of oil in the groove where the circle it goes. Then I can put that and it will carry the oil down into the bearing. Then we can give it a good move around. You can also do that the other way. Just a little bit more. So it's in the groove. Which will allow it to carry into the bearing. Pull that back in the other end. We'll clean up the excess in a moment. But first things first, let's put the circle in back. Put the circle it back in. Right, let's just clean up the excess there. Now, at this point, you can fit the original thrust plate. I don't know if it's, it's difficult to see, you can just about see there's a wear mark right in the middle. should just be completely flat, but you can see there's a, a groove being worn. So, you could put a little bit more grease in that and put that back, it would be fine. But what I'm going to use today is one of our replacement thrust plates. You can see that just fits straight on there, just the same. What I will do is... Bob a bit of grease on that, not strictly necessary, it's a very very low friction material, it doesn't really need greasing, however, it can't harm. So, a little bit of graphite grease in the middle there. And we will screw this replacement thrust plate back into position. And there we have it, cleaned, re-greased, 
new thrust plate now this type of thrust plate has been around for a few years I can't claim to have invented that at all but we have just remanufactured or manufactured those so we now have those available in our eBay shop should you wish to go down this route now you've got sort of an upgraded bearing all clean and ready to go thanks for watching cheers bye